Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave here. So Chromebooks and Android are two of my favorite things. So I was super surprised when I discovered that I can run Android on my Chromebook. Now, it's in fact very usable and very useful, especially if you don't like Chrome OS. Now to do this, you will need to have a Chromebook with a desktop CPU such as the Intel Power Chromebooks. And that's pretty much it, so let's get to it. Before we get started, you first need to enable developer mode on your Chromebook. Now the instructions will differ depending on your Chromebook model, but here's how to do it on an Acer C720. Hit Escape plus F3 plus the power button to reboot into recovery. Inside of recovery, hit Control plus D to turn off OS verification. The device will erase all of your local data and reboot. Just be aware that whenever you boot your Chromebook, you'll get the OS verification screen as long as developer mode is activated. You can either wait 30 seconds or hit Control plus D to skip it. Now take a second to reset up your Chromebook. Next, download Android x86 ISO file. I'll provide a link in the description. After you have downloaded the ISO, you'll need to make a bootable USB of it so that you can boot your Chromebook from the USB. Make sure you have a USB drive with at least 1GB of free space and download a free program called Rofus. Inside of Rofus, make sure the right drive is selected and choose the ISO file. Then click Start. Finally, in order to boot from a USB, you will need to enable the legacy BIOS on your Chromebook. On the Chrome login screen, press Ctrl plus Alt plus F2 to enter the shell window. Once you are inside the shell window, type in the following, chronos, sudo bash, cross system, space dev, underscore boot, underscore USB equals one, space, dev, underscore boot, underscore legacy equals one. Then type in sudo reboot. Your Chromebook will reboot. Now, on the OS verification screen, hit Ctrl plus L to bring up the legacy BIOS. Then hit Escape to bring up the boot menu. Finally, choose your USB device, and if everything goes well, Android to boot. Surprisingly, almost everything works except for the touchpad, so make sure that you have a wireless mouse handy. Performance on my Acer C720 was extremely smooth without any problems. I was able to download apps from the Play Store and even watch YouTube videos and play a quick game of Minecraft. However, you are left with limited space, so just be aware. So guys, there you have it. That's how to run Android on your Chromebook. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. In the next video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for our galvanizing video. Thanks.